Lindsay Humphrey from Springhurst. The property is 900 hectares. We run dairy cattle, sheep, super fine merinos, and do some cropping and run some beef cattle as well. Going back when I, when I left school about 40 years ago, um, we were a high input farm using um, more fertilisers than uh, super and urea and that. We, we never really got into using sprays, chemicals in that regard, and, but we had lots of animal health problems with the cows. After a lot of thought that there's, there's got to be another way of doing this, so we decided to um, firstly stop using super altogether, which was a, a big step. As time went on, we slowly we noticed the changes and um, the animal health problems started to disappear. We've been able to eliminate the use of drenching. Uh, we've also eliminated antibiotics totally from use on the dairy herd and the cows are that much healthier as a result of, of what we're doing. So don't get a vet very often. <laughs> Nutrition really plays a, a big part in, in the health of no matter what, what it is. Uh, a cow or, or humans. So. Shelter is essential uh, to help de-stress anything really. As a source of fertiliser, the dairy effluent is filtered through straw. The mixture of the cow manure and the straw is emptied out of the pit onto a concrete pad. This is done to prepare the, the mixture for the manure worms which we have to convert it into vermicast. It's really important in my opinion to have a a very diverse uh, pasture. It doesn't really matter what what plant it is, in my opinion, because every plant is grows for a reason. What, what's a weed to, to one person is not necessarily a weed to somebody else. And the roots from all the different um, plants, they all exude exudates, which are the food food source for for the soil the bacteria and um, soil fungi are also very, very important because of the particular mycorrhizal fungi which is releases phosphorus, which is essential for plant growth. There's several ways to encourage diversity of plants and at the same time encouraging the diversity of the, the soil biology and um, all, all the little critters um, that are so important to control pests. Weeds, in my opinion, grow for a reason, and and um, if you you kill a weed for herbicide, it'll come back stronger and stronger next year. And you kill it again, it'll, it'll come back again. So it, it it's it's gone gone into a cycle, and it's and that's what happens with all these plants. They come and they go, and um, the once they've expressed themselves, done their job, uh, they won't grow until the soil conditions are right um, somewhere down the track. The air probably, well, it's probably fresher because we've never used any, any chemicals as herbicides or weircides um, on the property and never will and we've planted some of those natives, uh, Warrigo grass, um, which is a, a really interesting grass. And it's got drought tolerant features where it's able to, the, the branches of the, the plant, so to speak, uh, can collect the water and funnel it all to the, into the centre of where the roots actually grow. And so it's a, a really valuable plant in, as far as I can see. And it can stand a bit of nutrient too. So high inputs uh, can can be detrimental to um, anything that lives in the soil. Like some bird species that appear every year. There's a there's one or two birds that I've never seen before uh, that turn up. It really fascinates me. <laughs> once these things start happening. And um, because there's a food source there for them, because of the diversity of plants, feels pretty, pretty good actually. Um, I've, I've always been um, 
if you like, curious about things. And the more you sort of study or think about or nature and, and get out on your hands and knees and, and have, a, have a look, a smell and a feel, you've got to use all your, all your senses and, and, um, to really get a feeling of, of what's happening. It's something that you develop with time, really. You'll ne never stop learning. If I, if I knew what I know today, I'd, um, you know, who knows <laughs> what, what would happen. But um, as, as time goes by, you, you sort of, you learn more and more. Every day you're learning something different.